First of all, they really do understand something that the governors were talking about, that people do need to be uh, better skilled than they are right now if they want to be uh, able to fit into today's labor market. But they're very skeptical of college. You know, as one person said, college, 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 you know, kind of very dismissively. And they, they see young people coming in with college degrees, and they don't think they really know that much, and they don't see them uh, being uh, all that productive as a result. The other thing they then say is it's not finding a job that's hard. Now, that may reflect where we are right now economically. It's the wages uh, and, to some extent, the benefits. Uh, there are plenty of low-wage jobs out there, but that's not what this group aspires to. Uh, they're very big on the idea of personal responsibility. Uh, they would not agree with what I hear from a lot of my liberal friends about it's the structure of the system that's systematically uh, making it impossible for them to get ahead. They don't think that at all. Uh, they want to be self-supporting. And they really feel not just underpaid, but also underappreciated, especially by their employers. Uh, this is an issue about respect and about feeling uh, as like you're part of a team, uh, as well as uh, your, your wage or your income level. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos from Brookings.